Hey, I'm Lincoln Ogu here, and we are going to go over a video of LeBron James on YouTube, and I'm going to try to give you an idea of why and how um, technically LeBron James can jump so high. I mean, given he is a freak, freakish, freakishly explosive athlete and can, um, you know, he's strong as crap, fast as crap, and it just makes sense he can jump high. He's actually an extremely sound one-foot jumper. I'm going to show you what I mean uh, by this jump right here. I'm going to let you watch it once. Which is just unbelievable. How high he got in the air right here. Look at this. <laughs> Alright, and let's just take one more look at it right there. Look at head well above rim. Um, incredible. But what I want to really concentrate on is the second his takeoff on his the second video and that leg and if you see his foot I know it's hard to see let me get rid of this ad if you see his foot's out in front of him he has a straight leg with a very little knee bend and now I'm gonna show you a video I want you to take a picture of this in your mind but now I'm gonna actually show you a video and this is a high jumping video where using a weighted half high jump pole they're teaching how to high jump correctly off of that bent leg. And let me find a great angle. Look at, all right, notice, notice right here, and I want you to think back to LeBron and how that leg was out in front of him with that lane. Now, this is Stefan Holmes, one of the best high jumpers ever. Look at, look at that. Okay, if you notice his legs out in front of him, he's got a good lane, and he's taking everything straight up and over. Which is just insane. There's another look at it. And it says down here, if you can stabilize the long axis of your body in a similar manner to the bouncing cut down crossbar, just like that with the stabilization foot out in front, getting good pop, through your hinge mo moment and upward jump. The hinge is a amortization phase, pretty much when you're taking that horizontal movement vertical. Now we don't really need to worry about the rotation, but look now again back at LeBron and watch his feet. Out in front, takes everything directly up. Notice the body control from this as well. Notice how he straightens up, he's running tall. Foot out in front, but he's not, notice his foot's out in front, but he's not dropping his hips. He's keeping those hips high, keeping that chest up, heads at the target. Solid plan out in front, takes everything vertical. So hopefully that gives you an idea. If you have any more questions, feel free to post them below about the hip hinge uh, when it comes to jumping higher off of one foot. This is our little how to jump like LeBron um, video. Again, just to be clear, you if you want to jump like LeBron, you need LeBron strength, you need a LeBron speed, you need LeBron explosiveness. But that doesn't mean you can't get some benefit from this video because... Learning to jump with that uh, penultimate step and that, that, that uh, high hip takeoff with that foot out in front will result in you actually gaining some inches on your vertical. So, hope you enjoyed this video.